Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I want to do a tutorial on pretty much how you start the game. Um, there is a video that explains pretty well um, Dallas video, but it just got theoretic, just talking, but not really showing. So I'm just gonna pretty much explain about when you start the game or start a NPE what is in my opinion the best way to level up and the best ways to dodge gods and I will just say what I know about the game so here we are with the first stuff this is pretty much the leveling at the start you are level 1 with pretty much nothing well at the start you should always first not go into the wood since you're probably not really um, often playing the game and as you can see you take here already quite some damage if you do not dodge. I'm right now on the priest that is a very good starter class for especially people that still have their problems at dodging. So first we have to level up to around level 5, 6. It really depends on how far you want to go at what level. For the people that do not know and maybe play the first time this is a simple tutorial so I will just show some things that are never really that was never really told in the in the tutorial when you start playing the game so we have some settings first I will show them well the settings is pretty much the usual settings I play by myself with a low camera rotation why am I doing this? That is quite simple. If you are playing around, well, having not rotation is quite... Uh, you, you can think um, that stuff before. Um, before I'm gonna continue this, this is a sumo master. This is um, someone you should pretty much circle around. First kill the minions and then kill him because he will go in rage mode. So, pretty much it is, in my opinion, way better to dodge the stuff and with some other settings you can even see further and pretty much do more stuff. The special ability is always this thing. It's pretty much here healing with the archer paralyzed or slow. The, the um, wizard just got a DPS boost with that and more. Reset the default camera angel. That's what I'm doing already since ages. I don't really know why. I have been doing that since I started camera rotation. I just like to have it like that. And I just, if I always um, move around and never get back to it, I might lose the sense of up and down. So the interact and buy key. The interact and buy key, let's go into the nexus. It is quite useful if you know how to use it. Like if you are going pretty much into a realm, you pretty much have to click. but but if you want to read someone really fast, like if there is some dungeon or something like that, you just have to pretty much fast going in. The fastest way is of course the interact key. The interact key will let you go into the dungeon instantly without any delay. Because it clicking you have to first get the portal. I mean the pretty much yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The potion purchases off since I don't want to waste money on potions. I personally do play without pet on this account because I think a new player doesn't have pet so I should show the things without a pet. So the toggle permanent stats that is pretty much useful for the memory, the FPS and other stuff and the net cheater so you can see when you will crash. You usually crash around 1500 to 1600 memory, it can be lower too of course. It's going up depending on the tiles you pretty much find and some other stuff. Probably shots or something like that. So now to the hotkeys. Um, I have usually it at pretty much 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, since I have my fame farmer I pretty much turned that off. The use health potion and use magic potion. I always had it like this since, well, C is my interact, so X is my health potion and V is my mana potion. It works out pretty well for me. 
but I still have um, lack a little bit on the timing. So minimap zoom out and minimap zoom in. Well, if you're playing on congregate, you should not scroll with your mouse like I do. It is pretty much annoying because you scroll over the whole side. That's why I pretty much um, recommend the um, standalone version of Congregate. With this you can even play in Flash Player with it and do some other stuff. That's pretty useful, decreases lag and you can, yeah. Another good feature of the game about teleporting off the map since running would take way too long so here you can just teleport to the people and yeah that's that's what that's what really new um, uh, that's what new people should really know about the game since and when I started the game I had no idea I could teleport it took me quite a while to get it out so the most important key in the whole game escape the nexus um, many people start just by clicking on this temple like here I do but that won't help long. At the um, most hardcore situations, you have to get the right button. I have always F because it's right to the D class. So I can instantly nexus and I have no problems at all with any um, bad situations. Because everyone gets in bad situations. However good you are in dodging or however it happens, you always get in bad situations. So switch tabs. That is pretty much the switch tab. Um, I have it on B since it was already from the start on B. So yeah, it's quite the normal thing. Um, switch item 2 of backpack. A backpack is a item that gives you pretty much more space. And yeah, you pretty much press um, a button and then it goes to the next one but this is pretty much not needed for new players um, activate jet enter pretty much normal thing filter offensive language it's quite annoying if you get like some filters I don't really like it I just want to see what the people write scroll chat down and scroll chat up I have it always a minus so I can always scr um, scroll the chat as you can see here up and down it's good to pretty much manage your chat and maybe you have overseen something. The player chat, whisper chat, guild chat, I don't think you really need that. I usually turn off the trade request but since I'm on this account I don't really care. Force high quality chat. If you don't do that and you have the game at lower quality then the chat is not really good. That's why they created the force high quality chat. The chat still stays good even if the game is at lower quality. The guild chat for T and the start chat command is quite useless. The graphics. Well, it is not really a incredible graphic system. Well, we have this is the starting default camera angel. That's what I really do not like since it's going not exactly the way I want to go. I want to go up and down and not halfway up and not halfway down. That's why I'm usually at this. And center of player. Since I have rotate, I can always rotate. I can look at the minimap that if enemies come, I can fast rotate around while I run away. It's a really good way to manage the stuff. It took me some time. I died off when I learned this. I learned it without any tutorial video or anything else. Draw shadows. If you have some lag, then just turn it off. It decreases the lag a little bit. Hardware isolation. I have it off right now. It pretty much changes a little bit stuff. You get less tiles and the lag gets less. So trade request panel. If someone trades you there something comes down. If you don't want to get any trades, just turn it off. Toggle HP and MP text. Uh, I don't really do use it. Um, that is something that I really don't like since I'm quite an old player and that had something to do with hack clients and I don't really like to do that with hack clients so yeah show guild and white panel depends if you're not searching a guild just turn it off like I do draw text bubbles the bubbles on the chat if you like see someone writing something you can always see the bubbles over their head and 
show tips. Tips are sometimes quite useful for some things, but in my opinion, it is after some time really not needed. It's more than annoying. And um, the quest portrays. The quest portrait is pretty much a little button that shows you to the next quest what you have to kill next. I don't really like it on the chat since it can sometimes take away my shooting ability. Since if I click on that, I cannot shoot, and that's sometimes a little problem. That's why I personally do not want it. So here we go to the sound. It's quite easy. I have pretty much everything off. This is off too. I have it in my sound setting off already, so I never realized it was on. Yeah, that is pretty much about my controls, and I think after some training, the best controls at least in my opinion. So we have to go on leveling now. It's um, quite easy at the start. Later you have to try more. That's why you first go into the lowest land and try to get some items from the enemies. The most important is death and HP. I usually say that speed is the most important part. That is true, but against low um, attack enemies you need first death that they can not do much damage since there are a lot of shots from many enemies that's why I think in my opinion it should stay like that. In the godlands I would prefer um, not a speed ring but um, you will see that soon enough. So these little minions, it's always the minions that drop the HP pots from the bosses. The bosses usually stop, um, drop the items. So from these minions you will never get an item, but HP pots. And HP pots can be pretty much life same thing. Since in some situations, if you're like not a priest or something like that, you will have no chance of healing yourself. And the HP pot can save your ass. So it's always good to have some HP pots with you. And at the start, if you're still low level, you should not waste them because you will need them as soon as you hit level 20. Since then you cannot reach any levels anymore. And if you cannot reach any levels anymore, your HP will not go um, to full again. Since every time you reach a level, everything fills up again. And it shouldn't be any problem. So here you can see, always from the bosses is a drop for some item. Well, I have the less MP now. I will go a little bit away. I mean, yeah, less MP and HP, so I have to go a little bit away. Um, I'm usually not often here, that's why I am not very good at dodging the stuff here. But I can I can pretty much manage to do this stuff here. Um, and I can have again some HP. The tomes are pretty much taking quite some MP, but they can save your life and the life of other people too. So being a priest isn't pretty much the job of healing others but you could make some friends with them and if you heal the right person they could even give you items or whatever. It's always possible and I had it already too. I had already a priest that that I died because he refused healing me. I had full HP and full MP. Well you never know. But I had already people that were nearly dying or had less MP and just healed me instantly because they saw I had less HP. What's an incredible move and really nice. And I think there should be more of these people that see priest as a job. I don't think it's a job like you're not really needed to do that, but it's always nice to do it. So we are hitting pretty soon level 5 so XP doesn't you don't get any more so much HP XP from the year I haven't gotten any items that means I'm not very lucky sometimes you get them very fast sometimes you get them quite late it's always the difference so running into the map is pretty much the best um, decision you should usually do that with a little bit more equip but it seems like I have to go in I can still dodge and stuff so yeah, it's you should first um, get some good items that you can level in a better way. So yeah, you can drink the stuff too if you 
um, press some kind of button that is, I don't know the English word since German is my first language, I'm sorry. But you can pretty much drink the stuff from the floor too. And well, this is everything still, still very, very easy and really does not, well, it even that needs a little bit of skill. Uh, there is still many people dying from that. It'll be alive if I said if there wouldn't many people die. But yeah. So we have here an uh, item I got for me. It gives me pretty much three de defense and one wisdom. The one de wisdom is increasing the um, like the ratio of my MP gain. So I can pretty much get more MP from the time. You get them in UDLs and on your layers. It's quite good to do that. So yeah. The vitality is helping you to um, like get like regular rate your HP more vitality means faster regenerated HP different classes got of course different um, caps for this stuff and there are some bad things called gray blobs and they can murder you one second I'm gonna drink something So well, here we are in the higher lands, here the enemies get harder and um, they give more XP and will drop better weapons. Right now I don't really have some very good weapons, that's why I have to search for them and since I do not have the good weapons I have to I won't do much damage so it may take a little while but I don't think that will bring any problems since this video should help in you um, finding the items the first class you start on is wizard as you can see he does a lot of damage so it's pretty well for him so yeah I don't really know how this works with the HP bars um, yeah that's it So yeah. These things are the bosses from these little things. Whatever you call it. This end god is a quest enemy. You usually fight it like level eleven. You get a quest for it. But well, F pretty much just saved my life. I had I think one HP. That is not much. So the Nexus button can be very useful for your sake. So I pretty much passed the beat here to the enemies and well this is a temple. You find usually in a greater snake but it seems like the snake is dead. Um, here is a plus y 5 vitality that is um, faster HP regeneration can be quite useful. From the snake here can be dropped a jungle and in the jungle some other stuff can um, get dropped. So oh, this wonderful thing, a, a sambing scramble or however you call it. Um, it gives, um, if you're level, like level 20 already it gives 200 XP so it gives quite some XP. And yeah it, the items it drops are not that bad for low levels so it takes a little while to kill it just circle around it and yeah with the wizard you should get more some range my problem is a priest has a very low shoot ratio and very low damage so I have to try to hit it more since some things do quite some damage to me I will 
still take some time. So I got 110 XP, that's, none. that's quite something. And there is another one, but I am too lazy for that. So, after you level pretty much in the Godlands, like you go up to the Godlands, you have some good stuff, and well, you have. I have now here a wizard. I have played him in already a little bit. He drank already some stat pots. I will explain how you will need them and you are, what you will have to do with them. So here I am in the Godlands. The Godlands is pretty much a dark place of enemies. And well, with a little bit running around you can find always some enemies. Some have faster shots, some have slower shots. It's not that hard to dodge it. So this is a white demon. He got pretty much 1000 HP and drops an attack pot. What are pots? Well, a pot is quite easy to explain. It is a, it's increasing your stat permanently. By how much? One. Uh, life pots and mana pots increase by 5 HP or 5 mana. There's of course a maximum. The usual maximum of life and mana is at the wizard 20 mana and I mean the average and 20 life. At every character it's usually 20 life. So yeah I think I have to concentrate a little bit more um, since I'm usually easy dodging that stuff. If you're pretty new you should stay around with a little group but not too many people since you may not make enough damage and against other people. So you may not get any loot. So the the big eye that's a beholder. A beholder got 1,500 XP, HP, and gives quite um, a death pot. And the death pot is increasing permanently your death. The death is maximum at every class 25 instead of uh, except knight. Knight got 40 maximum. Well, the wizard got, um, on the wiki you can find the maximum of the stats of the um, specific classes. So here we have the Under the Lair. Under the Lair is a dungeon that is free graves, so it's not easy, but not very hard at the same time. So yeah, we are going around here. This is the most um, annoying and the hardest killer of the Under the Lair. These vampires can do a lot of damage if you do it wrong. If you do it right, you can dodge them. Um, from the kings, with the ones with the crones, they pretty much do some damage. And the other ones are slowing you. They both together can insta kill you, even on a max character. That is but the only one only enemy in this dungeon that can really insta kill you except the boss Septavius. But I will explain Septavius in a few seconds. Well, we are running around trying to kill these enemies. It is not that hard. And we are slowly getting to the boss. The boss is quite hard, um, far away. So we have probably to take, try to try taking routes that are going directly to him. Since if he's close, you will probably, it's not a 100% chance, but you will probably take a little while to get to the boss um, because you will probably have to go around. And yeah, there is only one way into the boss room. If there you see another way on the boss room, it's a way out and there is no other way in. Since this guy, this nice guy, this cool guy is helping him here out, I can pretty much do that fast. We have again a room with the vampires. It can be quite fast if you got two people in here. Um, he does quite a lot of DPS. So the first enemies here are his minions and here he is, the boss. Well, it is not that hard to kill him. These shots do armor pierce. However, how much you armor you have, you will still need you dodge them since it will just pierce and ignore your defense. So these shots can instantly kill you while you're standing at him. The, he got another fast with quiet but we did enough damage to pretty much over jump this situation. So in the end he spawns again some more of his minions. Well here we have 
a wisp pot. A wisp pot is permanently increasing wisdom, so I get more wisp now with the stuff. If you make a new character, you should think about two rings. I usually have one HP ring and one death ring, but since I don't really have found the HP ring by now, I don't really have one. Why are we having two of them? Well, it's quite easily explained. You have here your HP. With a paramount HP, you get 120 HP more. So you have here then 700 HP. If an enemy hits you with like 150 damage, then you can just switch to the defense ring, you get less damage and the HP doesn't really change since you have lost it already and once it hits the full you hit you switch again to the HP and well your HP goes up again it is pretty secure idea and yeah now you, ha um, you are going back to the godlands there are also events but this is not something you are needed to learn in the start since you will probably die at it anyways they are not strong they get steamrolled by, by um, some other players pretty mad, but that doesn't mean they cannot kill you. Um, these things do quite a lot of damage and if you are unmaxed you shouldn't even try. So here we got with the wizard with the um, stuff. And yeah, I don't know what he is really doing. Um, well, he's not even talking, I cry. So yeah, this is the slime god. You, If you have a group of enemies, you should pretty much try to dodge his... Um, whatever it's called, the slowing mo shot. It's a little green shot that slows you and it may get harder to dodge the stuff. So we just killed the ghost god, it got like 1000 HP, it's um, pretty hard against warriors and knights since um, it's hard to get in. And this is a Medusa, they have 2000 HP, they are the second strongest gods in the realm. And I am now searching for the Leviathan too. It is very annoying to dodge, and yeah. And here we got the flying brain. They got very fast shots, don't do that much damage, but against unmaxed people they can hurt quite a bit. So yeah. The purple bag are soulbound. They're cyan bags with higher tier items. They're pretty much better than all of these items. Um, and they are soulbound too. The pink bags are not soulbound. Same with the brown bags, they're not soulbound too. Brown bags are dropped stuff or HP stuff pots. Like if I drop now my Avenger stuff here, you, it will pop up in a brown bag. So yeah. Mr. Someone is now playing a bit. This is a Sprite God. The Sprite God got some cheeky little minions that are spawning in dungeon. They give 5 XP each, they do not attack, they're just here for the dungeon. Um, after some killing, they will be popping a few up. So here we got a first dungeon. This is here end god. I don't know if I already say it already. He drops a death pot, white demon attack pot, beholder death pot, leviathan death pot, but it will show up soon. Medusa speed pot. Um, ghost god drops a speed pot too. And yeah. We, we have the beholders and before I'm going into the sprite world since this is needed to know um, I first want to kill them in case I could get a death pot. The blind does really not make any damage so I can simply ignore it but be careful blind does slow your movements it's pretty much a psychical, um, psychical um, change in your head so yeah now you have to kill these little things if you have already high death it's no problem since they don't really do any damage to you um, if a lot of hit you of course it can do quite some damage there are another sprite gods in here they have some bad shots i will probably find one here and they drop with a high ratio attack potions so if you're farming attached potions it's very good to farm in here too
So a lot of enemies are here. Uh, they do quite a little bit damage. So here we got the enemy. He can. He has a very high drop chance of attack, but you get at least one out of three or four. So it's really high. And yeah, I got nothing. So before I'm going to the boss, I will first clean out a little bit around. Since yeah, it, they can come in and can get pretty annoying. Uh, the move the tiles on the floor will let you move automatically, so you shouldn't overdo it. So we have we are ready for the boss. Kill a little bit of these trees. Let him jump. Never get to him. Always try to run away from them, and don't try to get hit by the slowing shots of the blue one. Since the blue one just tried to shoot at me, and I'm glad I could dodge it. I have somehow a pet on his character, I don't really know why. Well, I will take it off soon enough. And yeah, the blue one shots, you just saw them, I had to quickly dodge them. And yeah, I drank a HP and MP pot. MP pot that I could do a little bit more damage to death. It will be easier for me to kill the enemy. And if you stay far away from it, you can hit it like that. And if you're going too close, it jumps on you. So we have killed the Sprite God. We got a potion of dexterity. A dexterity potion lets you shoot faster. And that's pretty important. The most important st stats to max at the start is speed, dex and death. Since death can save your life if you're not really good in dodging, speed does improve your dodging. You can dodge more than you usually can, and dex is pretty much it lets you fast and um, shoot faster. The attack and death pots can, and also the speed pots can be gained in godlands. While farming sprite builds, you will you might probably get enough speed pots to max it. So snake pots are not needed. How many people say? you need to do snake bits. Um, in the godlands to farm attack you will need very long time. In that time you can max at least three characters in speed. So the speed will come by itself to me. Um, yeah, after I found the leviathan the game will be probably over and like the video and yeah, but why do you trade me? That is a very interesting sword you got there. Uh, trades well, so. The slime god hit me, and I had some problems with the dodging. I don't really know why the people are randomly trading me. So, next button saved my life. Um, I'm usually uh, way more dodging and way better dodging if I'm not making the video but since I have to concentrate on the talking while that I have my problems with the dodging um, before I made this video he didn't even claim came once close to death so yeah here we go again two medusas you have always to try to dodge the shots you if you see it shot coming from left try to dodge or just nexus if you can see hey i cannot dodge this just nexus because you will die if you try it to the last second so the strongest god and the most um rarest one the leviathan he can be found in some bugged zones um, in outside of the Godlands too, he's quite annoying. Um, yeah. Also, the shots of the enemies are, as you can see, at the floating brain. It always shoots at the location as you are right now. Same with the white demon. Wait, the white demon probably not. But um, as the end god, the end pot tries to calculate where you are going. So if you're just doing 
Um, I have some problems now since it's too many. So we have one end guard here, and one of these things. So if you left, if you run to the left, he will lose shoot left. If you run like that, he will lose like that. And I will probably so if you're going to run at him. Well, I am going to refill my HP to show it off since I don't really want to risk this wonderful character. So here we got a headless horseman. Um, it can be quite annoying. Same with the Ching God. The Ching God um, is, is, is quite easy, but the shots can um, be annoying. Headless horseman drops a cemetery. Um, you can get some quite some good items in it, so I recommend it for new players. And yeah, but stat pots are always more important than items. So let's rush through the godlands. I want to um, find a leviathan to calculate the yeah how it will be. But seems like I'm not really lucky. I usually find around some. Here we have a Leviathan. As you can see, he got a shitload of shots and he is quite hard to dodge. I will go left since left will stun the Godland stop and it will be easier to do to handle this stuff. So, yeah. After some time, if you're better in dodging, you will have no problem with that. Um, it's just about the knowledge, how they shoot, and yeah. You can even you can find everything in the wiki so you can see the leviathan he gives a lot of shots from the side and sometimes he changed direction but he just he got two different kind of attacks a blue one that does more damage but it's going directly after you so it's good to dodge and the cyan one that got more shots and it's um you kind of really it's not really easy to foresee it since it can change randomly so yeah that is pretty much all about the video so try to nexus early enough if you're in a bad situation since you can never really give up on the character i know that many people get sad when they die on the characters um i personally don't really get sad for it since yeah why should i um, the pet yard is quite easy to explain. You get some pets in the godlands. You get pets here, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. I hope you learned some new stuff in this video. If you're a new player, always ask for questions in the description. I mean, in the comments, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.